Welcome back to the Mountain Morning Show in studio with Bill Humbert. We we're just taking a look out over at Park City Mountain Resort. Bill, recruiter guy, how have you been? Chelsea, I've been great. Thank Wonderful. You. Can you believe how much the snow has melted off of Park City Mountain? Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> just looking yeah. at that shot. I kind of miss it. Do you miss it? Or are you ready for yeah, summer? Well, I'm, you know, I'm ready for summer, but I kind of miss it because from our living room window, we can see payday. Oh. And um, pretty yeah. soon the alien's head is going to show up on payday <laughs> as the as it starts to melt and uh -huh. you start seeing eyes and a mouth. And oh, right. <laughs> sure. Yeah, yeah. But it, it's crazy because we're kind of in that mud season right now. So it's, it's nice to see it really green or really white with the snow. But the in between, you're kind of like, let's hurry in one direction or the other. But right. it's going to make for a beautiful uh, weekend later on when we get more green on the mountain. But today we're going to be talking about the top five tips for your first day on a new job. I'm very interested in this topic because I want to, to see if I've done this over the years <laughs> and see how well I, I, I was on par with, with what Bill Humbert has to say. So let's start off with the first one. Making a list of everything you did for the for your search that was successful, then, then what do you do in that range? Well, you just, you know, it's really important to make sure that you review what you did that worked because that allowed you to get the job? That helped you find the job. Okay. And write those those things down because what'll you know, someday you're gonna be out looking for another job, probably. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's really likely. It, it's really important to make sure that you are um, prepared at that point. So put it into a Word document, put it into a file, however you, you know you best mm -hmm. track things. But make sure that you know what it is that you did that made you successful when you were looking for a job. Because you know, five or even a year or whoever knows how long from now you'll be like, so how, how did how did that process work again? And it's nice to have that reference point. That's right. I think. You need to know what it is that worked. Very good. And then next up, number two, notify everyone who helped you that you were successful with their help. You know, um, part of networking is the give and take. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's really important to, to bring some closure so that the people who are helping you find the job and making mm -hmm. introductions, they know that you've now been successful and um, you know that thank you for them is so, so important because otherwise you know, they could be out there hanging going, wow, I wonder if Chelsea found that job yet mm -hmm. or... That's a good point. You know, so this brings closure and if you need their help the next time, then they know that you've you appreciated their help mm, the first that's a time, really good point. and um, you're much more likely to get help from them. Mm -hmm. And and they kind of feel that that satisfaction with you. And like you said, they're kind of more likely. That that's a professional thing to do is to to follow up. Exactly, exactly. And they're excited for you mm -hmm. at this point. You know, it's and off of their mental list now, there's that that closure too. They just well, I don't have to worry about Chelsea anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. The number three, have discussions or develop that discussion or that report with your manager. What do we need to have discussions about? Well, you know, you want to know what the manager's expectations are for you for the first year. Mm -hmm. And so ask the quarterly, you know, the three month, the six month, the nine month and 12 month goals. What, what do you expect for me to get done the first three months? What do you expect for me in the next? And the next and the next and when that's done now you know when you're writing those that information down when you're talking to your manager on the one-on-ones you can talk about the progress towards completion of those different goals and it's great it's great for the manager because most managers haven't been taught that they should do that mm -hmm. <laughs> and so now it gives them a track too to run on during the one-on-ones and you know you always hear about how um, the annual review is so painful for a manager to complete well if, the, if your goals are set every three months now you've completed the goals or you haven't completed the goals you know why you did and why you didn't mm -hmm. and now you know, review is no surprise. Mm -hmm. So you're saying that this is something that, because I've certainly been in jobs where this does not happen, but you're saying you should initiate that regardless of whether or not that manager makes that move to have that happen with you. You're right. Okay. If the manager doesn't make, if the manager doesn't do that, 
then you should do it. Mm -hmm. Because you need to know what your expectations are also. Exactly. And that helps you determine what it is you're going to do next and what you're going to do next and, and how to be successful. Very good, very important one. Start those discussions with your manager that first day. And then number four, take on the quote, dirty jobs is what you call these. What's included in this category? You know, these are the jobs that typically people don't want to do mm -hmm. because they're just, you know, they just go, oh, it's going to take too much work or, you know, nobody else wants to do it, so therefore I don't want to do it. But you know what, in my experience, what I found is that most times, if you spend a day of concentrated effort on it and do the research to find out what caused the problem and then figure out how to solve the problem, you become a hero. And it's great to be known in a company that you're the person that solved the dirty jobs. And so determine what those are, pay attention, watch what's going on, make sure that whatever your solutions are fit the culture, mm -hmm. and then solve the problem. Very good. And then coming in at number five, make impacts and have fun. I like how you end things on that note. What does this include? You know, um, when I give talks around the country about uh, searching for your next job, I tell people it's really important for you to be happy. Mm -hmm. And what determines whether you're going to be happy or not? So I ask people from the audience to give me feedback. And it, it gets to be money, culture, a lot of different things. And I say, you know, doesn't it come down to, though, when you boil everything down, doesn't it come down to, am I making a positive, measurable impact, and am I having fun? If I'm making an impact and having fun, everything else takes care of itself, even the money. Because if I'm having fun out there and I'm making impacts. And if you're passionate about and it. And you're passionate about up. it, mm -hmm. people will recognize that and you'll get paid what, what you need to be paid. Well, I think that that helps boil things down a lot more because oftentimes, you know, in, in your mind, you might think, well, I have these goals. I want to make this much or that much money. But those, I think, just kind of, like you said, encapsulate all of that. Make impacts. Feel like you're making a difference, a positive difference, and enjoy what you're doing. Exactly. And at the end of the day, that's what matters. That's what matters. That's what, you know, when you go home at the end of the day, you're going, I can't believe I spent 10 hours here today, and they actually paid me to do this. <laughs> That's the dream. That's the ideal is to feel like, indeed, it doesn't end up being work, but it's a passion of yours, and it's you're fun. excited to wake up in the morning. Exactly. So, you know, go back, apply for a job that you want to do even. So, all right, Bill, anything else to add this morning? No, but you know what? All of that is in that book. That is right. Guide to Finding a Job by Bill Humbert, Recruiter Guy. Where can we pick your book up at? Um, Dolly's has copies, and mm -hmm. then um, the Kindle version is available, and it's the Kindle version is only two ninety nine. Excellent. Such a deal. That yeah. is a really good deal. <laughs> nice. Well, Bill, thank you as usual. Great to have you here back in studio. Next month, uh, hopefully, we'll be seeing some more green <laughs> on Park City we Mountain. Will. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much, Bill. We'll be right back after this break. When we do, we'll be joined by Laura Dupuy with the Utah Council for Citizen Diplomacy.